Welcome everybody to this week's Radical Living. We are so excited to be back with you guys. It has been yeah. way too long and, and uh, we just spent the last couple of weeks just traveling for, for ministry. We were in, in Europe and had the, the honor there to to minister in, in lots of different churches and it was just incredible to see what the Lord did and the lives that are being changed and you know that that's all that matters and that's that's all all worth it and you know for us a, 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 a very specific highlight was that we were able to speak at the at the women's meeting in the southern germany and yeah. it was just incredible to see you know and you know if you give the lord your all it's it's there is no telling where he's gonna gonna take it and it, for us it's just such an honor to serve him to to give him our our all and 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 just to to serve him in in, in this area but it, we're so excited to be back here again to be back home again it, it took us a while and and um we, we apologize for that but now we're, we're back and we're, we're going to continue we have missed this this time with you and yeah. we just want to get right back into what the lord has put on our heart uh for for us today and and i want to read a scripture out of philippians 4 4 through 9 and it says here in philippians 4 First of all, uh, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, or whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is um, excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. You know, this is a very familiar uh, part of scripture and I'm sure so many of you have, have heard about it, but we really felt to, to speak about this today. And you know, we see so many times, even in our travel and in, in, in ministry that, you know, uh, so many Christians struggle in, in that one area and that is really to get the victory, especially o over our mind the biggest yeah. battle that we often face is really in our, th our thought life in 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 our mind you know even John 10 10 says the thief comes only to kill to steal and to destroy you know this is his main agenda this is what 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 he wants to do if he can just plant those seeds of doubt those seeds of discouragement those seeds of fear or whatever it might be in, in in our mind you know this is how he can hinder us from growing this is how we how we can hinder us from living to our full potential and living out whatever the lord what lord has for us and I'm so glad that this verse, uh, John 10, 10, doesn't end there where it says the thief is only coming to kill, steal and to destroy. No, it continues and it says, mm -hmm. but I have come that they may have life and they, then and have it to the full you know this is such a, a a wonderful promise and this shows us right there that it is possible to live victorious in all circumstances through yeah. jesus christ you know it is impossible it is possible to train our mind and get out of that wrong kind of thinking you know the, the, the thinking um where um, so often is is plaguing our mind where we where we say I can't do this I'm not good enough I'm not pretty enough I'm not skinny enough I I, I I'm I'm sure I'm 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 gonna fail my semester I'm too exhausted and then, you know um, I guess this is just my lot in life or you know whatever it is that it, that is uh, circling our minds you know it is so important that we as believers learn to live victorious in that area and that we learn to take those thoughts captive you know and if if this is you this morning and you have an area uh, where you struggle where the enemy is trying to whisper you all kinds of lies um we just want to we just want to show you some practical steps how you can get out of that uh, mess and how you can get out of those circumstances and um, the first thing that we saw here in in Philippians is where it says. Um, rejoice in the lord always and again i say rejoice mm -hmm. you know this this rejoicing is so much bigger than just putting a, a fake smile on our lips you know the, uh, this is this this joy goes so so much deeper you know and it's birthed on a level of inter intimacy that that comes through christ you know and then we can only reach that place 
if 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 we are really um, putting the Lord first in 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 our lives you know when we're rejoicing not only when things are going exactly according to our plan and we're doing everything perfect and everything is going well and we're healthy and we're strong and and uh and everything is going according to plan no this talks especially when um when when things are not going as planned you know yeah. especially in our circumstances that we have this attitude of just rejoicing and, and praising him regardless you know he has he has given us such great promises right there in the word you know where he says we are blessed coming in we are blessed coming out we are the head we're never the, 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 the tail we are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ though this is this is what the Lord is uh, 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 speaking out you know over us words of encouragement and not of doubt and of fear and 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 um, so so on but you know so many times you have heard us say this you know all those promises from the Lord are so many times just linked with conditions conditions that we need to achieve first in order to step into this blessing that the Lord has for us there's an active part on on, on our side you know that that we have to accomplish first in order to receive what the Lord has for us you know and, and there is there is a way of of training our thoughts there is a, a, a way of of getting uh, victory over our circumstances no matter uh what they look like and my first point this morning in, in how to live victorious in that area is we need to learn how to pray right um, verse 6 says here do not be anxious about everything but in every situation by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving present your request to God and the peace of God which passes all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus you know there's three points right there that, that teach us how to pray right you know prayer thanksgiving and supplication you need you see so many of us we we don't take the time to pray or or we, we we don't pray at all i don't know how how it is for you for your life you know and and if we do then our prayer lives look very often um like you know it's it's more kind kind of a um like me focused uh, me focused exactly that's what, what i was trying to say me focused where, where we pray lord bless me help me heal me mm -hmm. um and and you know so many times we're, we're we're trying to use the lord like a vending machine you know where we yeah. put the coin in at the top and and we 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 expect um a, a complete transformation within in in two seconds you know or even like a drive-through restaurant where we drive up to our convenience whenever we feel like it you know and we order to this specific um to, to our specific likeness you know and, and that's so many times how we how we treat the lord that's you know and it's so important that we get this part in our lives right you know the lord desires a relationship with us he wants to be the first priority in in in, in our lives and he desires to have this one-on-one -on -one co communication um with him with him you know and and um you see, there is nothing like being in 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 the presence of God, where you where you know where we really don't look on the circumstances that we're all facing. And you know, there is times where where, where life is tough and and stuff coming our way, but it's our attitude that determines how how we walk it and how we how we we, we come out of out of that place. You know, and and if we spend time in His presence, where we just focus on who He is, you know, and we have so much reason to be thankful for to 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 to, yeah. to praise him for what he has done when we were able this morning to get out of bed and we had strength in our bones and we had breath in our lungs that's already reason enough to give him all the praise and and, and the glory you know we would have nothing if and if and if it would be for him all it all it takes is shifting our mind off of our circumstances and looking at to, onto him you know yes. just a couple of weeks we were driving through Switzerland, and I was just glued uh, to the window. I just, I just wanted to take it all in, mm -hmm. all in. Just the, the amazing creation you, you you see that he that he has done, and when you take that in in uh, in 
in his presence, in, in front of him. You can't but praise him. There's nothing else you can do but just fall on his knees. You know, the God who has created the universe, who placed every star in his specific place and who has given us life and breath and health and everything that we have, you know, and it's yeah. so important that we focus on that, that we give him that first priority that he needs, you know, where we're where we're not on, focused so much on us and the things that we want to achieve in life, the next vacation that we want to take and the next house that we want to build or the next renovation that we want to do you know don't get me wrong all those things are great and the lord wants us to be blessed and he wants us to enjoy all these things but my question today is where is the Lord in, in, in all this? Does he really have the first priority in, in, in your life, the first place in your life where, where, where you just work on this intimate relationship with him, you know, and, and a relationship like this can only be established by spending time. You know, if I don't spend any time with my daughter and I don't talk to her, there is no relationship, there is no relationship, you know, so it takes an effort. It takes some commu communication and that's so important that we understand that you know and if we focus our focus on the Lord and all these stuff all of a sudden becomes so dim and becomes so mm. small and our mind just focuses on something completely different you know and then when we had this time where we just praise him for who he is and for what he has done you know um, it, it says right here and then let your let your request um, be known through Thanksgiving you know again here it's so important um, how we pr present this and with what kind of an attitude we come before him is it a, is it an attitude of entitlement you know i deserve this i deserve health i deserve all all of this or are we really coming even in our circumstances with a heart uh, full of of thanksgiving you know he knows our thoughts he knows what we're going through he knows what we're going to say before we even for for before we even say it and he will take care of us in such um, a wonderful way but also you know presenting our request with thanksgiving there is so much more in it you know i don't know what you're believing for specifically today maybe you're believing for a financial miracle in your life then start to thank him already for the breakthrough that is that is gonna come before you see the change on your bank account yes. you know if it is for a healing that you believe um in your body start thanking him for your healing even though the symptoms may say something completely different today you know if you believe for a loved one to come to christ be it a husband, a daughter, a, a, a son, or just a friend, start thanking the Lord in advance for them already that they're gonna be that they're gonna be saved before they even come the first time to church with you. You know, yeah. it is so important that we have this attitude and of thanksgiving where we where we really don't come out of a heart of entitlement or you know I deserve this, but that that we're really thankful in in all circumstances. You know, the Lord healed healed all 10 lepers but only one of them came back and gave yeah. him thanks yeah. for what his what he did and there is a key right there you know not only do, do we need as, as as Christians in our walk with the Lord not only do we need to learn how to pray right but also how to think right yeah it's so true you know um, like my mom kind of already mentioned our thoughts you know can go in all kinds of different directions and many times it is like a real battlefield a battleground of where the enemy likes to come in and plant little seeds in our minds you know little doubts fears worry stress um, you know and even sinful thoughts that eventually end up leading to sin many times and it can just go in in all different directions and you know just as an example that I thought of you know someone who um, someone who you know kills someone or murders someone it doesn't just happen overnight where they're just like okay I'm gonna go kill someone today no it happens always with these little seeds that the enemy plants in their minds about death or about killing or whatever and usually it's combined with what kind of TV shows they're watching what kind of movies they're watching the video games they're playing and just things that they're surrounding themselves with even books that they read and usually it all you know circles around on that same thing and then you know one day that point comes where that ends up leading to sin because of just these thoughts that they've been dwelling on in their mind and it ends up you know becoming a stronghold really in the mind and um and really that's how it starts we you know have the authority over that and we can take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ as the word says and I just want to look at um, Romans 8 5 through 6 and this is this is just so powerful and it says those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things 
but those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit think about things that please the Spirit. So letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death, but letting the Spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. So we have that choice to make. You know, are we going to let our sinful nature control us, our thoughts, our fears, our, you know, worries, whatever it comes into our minds? Mm -hmm. Are we going to let that root in us and lead, you know, to death, as this verse says? Or are we really going to come and just say, Holy Spirit, you control my mind, you control my thoughts and what I think. And that really leads to that life and peace, as the word says. And I just have an example, even in simple little everyday things. Um, this can work and you know as she was saying we've been traveling in, in Europe and on our way home we had a stopover in Washington before um, we flew in, into Orlando and basically there was some you know a bunch that ended up going wrong with our flight um, we had to board three times and leave the plane three times we usually spend like two to three hours in between um, each uh, boarding and exiting um, in in the airplane and there's just all kinds of you know weather issues the um, uh, the flight crew had like overtime so they had to switch the flight crew find a new crew and there was technical errors and just all kinds of stuff that was going on in this flight and I realized you know everyone around me was um, anxious they were stressed they were nervous um, some people you know really started talking negatively about the flight crew about the you know the airline and everything like that and it was just a, kind of a negative environment and everyone was you know I'm feeling this way but I remember through it all just being so calm and so at peace and just thinking you know I was just sitting there the third time we boarded and I wanted to really fly home that time because we were all just sleepy we'd been you know up for over 24 hours at that point uh, you know little naps here and there but we just all really wanted to go to bed um, in reality but I remember just sitting there and thinking you know Lord just a few um, just a year ago even this would have totally stressed me out I would have been participating just like everyone else probably talking negatively but here I was with such peace and such a calm um, because I've learned to you know really let the Holy Spirit control me control my mind control my thoughts and not give into those fears and those you know things that try to crowd around us and the third thing we need to learn is we need to learn to speak right the same things that are in our thoughts how it's you know um, we can have positive thoughts negative thoughts it's the same um, with what we speak you know we can speak things that are positive that lead to life or we can speak things that lead to death and uh, you know we really need to have that attitude of praise and thanksgiving like my mom already said in that in that verse you know where we're constantly thanking the Lord praising him for what he's doing in our lives even before we see it. And I just want to look at a verse in Proverbs 18, um, 20 through 21. It says, wise words satisfy like a good meal, and the right words bring satisfaction. Your tongue can bring death or life, and those who love to talk will reap the consequences. So basically, what we speak is what we get. And I know I've shared before, you know, when I used to struggle with headaches because I constantly was speaking that death over my situation. I was constantly getting headaches because I was constantly speaking that. You know, the, our words have that power. Um, you know, if we speak worry, um, we're going to get worry. If we speak fear, we get fear and stress and, you know, anxiety, sickness, and even, po you know, poverty, um, whatever it is. We need to always remember to speak God's word, what his word says, even if we're, you know, feeling a different way, even, you know, if we may be feeling fear that we speak, no, I'm not going to be afraid. God's word says this and um, I'm not going to fear and, you know, and and a joint with taking our thoughts captive. And that's how we can really, really live in power. That's so that's so true. And, you, you know, it's so powerful, you know, when we just when we just realize, you know, that uh, when we're spending that time with the Lord and really giving him this first priority how we can change our own circumstances you know when we when we shift our focus away from us and really uh, renew our mind through him in the time that that we spend with him and then when we, then automatically we're going to start thinking uh, differently and, and we're going to start talking differently and those are just um, um, such important steps for for us as as believers to to take and, and get get a hold of and the, the last thing i want to share in order to live victorious is really to live right you know philippians um in the verse 9 here that, that we read says whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me put it into practice and the god of peace will be with you you know um this this book right here is our greatest in, 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 in instruction manual there's everything in there that we need to live victorious to live um 
su successful and and um, all we need to do is put it into practice you know right. right this verse here here says and I'm gonna um, end here this morning with a with a passage that I want to read to you guys out of Matthew 6 Matthew 6 and I'm gonna start at verse 25 it, it says right here this is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life whether you have enough food or drink or enough clothes to wear isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing look at the birds they don't plant or harvest or store food in their barns for your heavenly father feeds them and aren't you far more valuable to him than they are can all your worries add a single moment to your life and why are you worrying about uh, clothing? Look at the lilies in, in the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon in all his glory was not, not dressed as beautiful as they are. And if God cares so wonder, wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things saying what will we eat and what will we drink, what will we wear. Mm. These, these things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your heavenly father already knows all your, your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else. Live righteously and he will give you everything you need. You know, there's a key mm. right there where it says, um, put your heavenly father above all all else live righteously and he will give you everything um you need and you know we want to encourage you uh, this morning no matter what you what you're going through to uh today just take take some personal time with the lord you know to renew your mind to get your mind off of your own circumstances mm -hmm. start praising him and and, and start uh, developing this this intimate relationship with him put him give him the first first place and give him your highest priority and and you will see that no matter what you're believing for no matter what circumstances you will be in the lord will take care of it and he he will turn it ar 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 around for you let's just take a a, a, a a time in prayer today and and um just uh, thank him for this word, this word today. Yeah, Heavenly Father, we just come to you now and we thank you, Lord, that we can be controlled by your Holy Spirit, yes. that he can lead us and guide us in every step that we take, in every situation um, that we're facing, Lord God. I thank you that we can um, learn to take our thoughts captive, to yes. make them obedient to you, um, that we can be fully free from the thoughts that try to plague us and bring us down, God. I thank you that we can learn to speak right, God. I pray that you will put a guard over each of our mouths, that we will um, only speak what is holy and righteous in your sight, God, um, that you will convict us, Lord Jesus. Um, 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 to um, when we you know when we say things that are that are not of use that we can always speak um, in in holiness Lord and, and correct ourselves father and I thank you that we can learn to have a deep and intimate relationship with you through prayer through spending time in your word God I pray that you will take each person that's watching to a new level that you speak um, into their lives in such a powerful way God and I thank you that we can live um, our lives to the full potential God that you have for us in jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 yeah. it, it was such a joy to spend time with you again we yeah. will be uh, here uh, more regularly again and and just remember you know you have a call of god on your life and you were born for such a time as this and you know not everybody i know is called into the full-time ministry like like we are but everybody has a calling on their life yes. where you in your area of where you live in your in your workplace in 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 your school wherever you are you know there 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 is a a, 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 a call on your life and you know take that serious you know we want to encourage you you know go out and talk to somebody about the lord today and you know if this blessed you uh, this morning and uh, this spoke right to your heart. You know, we would love to hear from you. Like, like, like we always say. Just you can, you can write yes. us. You, you can talk, contact us. Also, if this has really blessed you and you want to donate to this ministry, just push hashtag donate. That will pop up a link, and and, and you can fill out the the, the pledge form and and uh, donate that way. Um, we love you guys so much. We will see you next time.